Hey, Drago here and welcome back to the next is foreign series. In the previous video, we explored how suspense and streaming work to create a smooth user experience. Now you're going to shift gears and look at how we can add custom logic that runs before our request reaches the route handler. Whether it's authentication, logging or even modifying requests, middlewares are the go-to tool for handling these tasks in Next.js. Now here is where things get interesting. Next.js middlewares run on the edge. What does this even mean? Well, traditional API routes run on a server, but middlewares in Next.js can be deployed to edge functions, which are servers geographically distributed around the world. These servers are closer to the user, meaning your middleware logic is executed closer to the user's physical location. This has a couple of big advantages. One, faster execution. And two, low latency. Let's see it via an example. So going back to our existing project, to initialize the middleware, we're going to create a middleware.ts file inside our src folder. Inside the middleware, we're going to normal export a named function as middleware. So export async function middleware. This will take rake as next request as the parameter. So inside the function, first of all, we're going to get the absolute URL. So constant URL equals to new URL of rake.url. Next up, we're going to write constant res equals to next response dot next. So at the end of the middleware, we're going to call this next function or we can just write return res. Now, before actually returning the response, we're going to write if URL dot path name equals to slash drago return next response dot redirect to my website. So after this, we have an option to specify on which routes we want the middleware to run. So we're going to write export constant config equals to an object. Inside the object, we're going to define a key matcher. Now the slash drago route doesn't exist in our application right and we do not even have to make it so let's try it out so if i hit slash drago look we are redirected to our website now previously we we're manually checking for authentication on each page or route well guess what we don't need to do that anymore so we're going to import create middleware client from superbase slash auth helpers next .js. after the redirect we're going to write constant superbase equals to create middleware client with rec and res so after that, we're going to check for the session. So we're going to write constant empty object equals to await superbase.auth.get session. Inside the empty object, we're going to destructure data. And from data, we're going to destructure session. So if there is session, we're going to write if url.pathname.starts with slash API, we're going to set some headers to the response. So res.headers.set, I can name it however you want, but I'm going to name it as x user id with session.user.id. Next up, if the url path name starts with slash auth, we're going to redirect the slash dashboard. So when we are logged in, if you want to access the sign in or sign up page, we're going to get redirected to slash dashboard. Now, if there is no session, but we want to access the dashboard or posts or maybe some protected routes, which obviously doesn't start with slash auth, we're going to get redirected to slash auth slash sign in. Next up for the matcher, we have to add the routes. So we're going to add slash auth slash colon path star. Same for the dashboard, the main page slash and for the posts also. So let's go to the slash API slash posts route. And instead of making a superbus instance, let's just grab the user ID from the headers. So inside the try block, we're going to write constant user id equals to rec.headers.get x user id now if there is no user id we're just going to throw an error now the rest for the get request remains the same for the post one we're going to do the same we're going to get the user id from the headers and if there is no user id we're just going to throw an error now for the author id we're going to assign the user id also, in our posts page component, we don't have to check for the user again. We can just omit making the instance creation part and the rest will be the same. So let's actually say it in action. Before I log in, I want to visit the slash posts page. Uh, guess what? We get redirected to slash auth slash sign in. So it is working. Now let's log in and visit the page again. Look, that was damn fast. Because this time, we are not making unnecessary requests to the server. We are handling all by our single middleware. If I want to visit the slash or slash sign in while I am logged in, guess what? We are now getting redirected to slash dashboard. And that's it for this video. In this episode, we explored Next.js middleware and how it can be used to customize request handling. In the next video, we'll dive into a crucial aspect of web development metadata. We'll talk about static and dynamic metadata and how Next.js helps you optimize for both SEO and performance. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. But before we finish up, I want to let you in on something exciting. If you're enjoying the content and want to support me, you can join my Patreon at patreon.com slash it's As a subscriber, 
you'll get early access to all my videos a day or two before they go public on YouTube. Plus, you'll be able to see exclusive behind the scenes, get sneak peeks of upcoming projects and much more. It's a great way to stay ahead of the curve and get involved in shaping future content. Also, if you have any questions or need help with anything we covered, don't hesitate to join our Discord server. I'm active there and it's the best place to connect with me and the community. We'll find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.